Look at thousand channels. Four hours. Only five hours. Just keep flipping. Six hours. What game are you playing? Seven hours. Pokemon Go. Eight hours. Watch TV with me. Nine hours. We're not even watching anything yet. Ten hours. Watch Nine me change hours. the channel. Twelve hours. Thirteen hours. Fine. I hate this game Fourteen anyway. Hours. Waste Sixteen of time. Hours. Sixteen hours. News. Seventeen hours. News. 18 hours. More news. 19 hours. Ooh, housewives. 20 hours. <laughs> Bachelors. 21 hours. Pregnant teens. 22 hours. I'm bored. 23 hours. So am I. We should take up a new hours. hobby. 25 hours. We're both hours. so busy. 26 hours. Let's get a puppy. 27 hours. I don't have hours. time for a puppy. Well, let's do some volunteer work. Why? Why not? 28 hours. One hour. Two hours. News. Three hours. News. What's on One the news? Car accident. Celebrity so wedding. Shooting. Six, Six hours. Shooting. Seven hours. Same shooting. Eight hours. Hey, isn't this around the corner from us? Yeah. Crime around here is getting out of control. Ten hours. We should move to a better Eleven neighborhood. Eleven hours. Twelve hours. Let's 13 hours. move and have a baby. 14 hours. 15 hours. 16 hours. 17 Great idea. hours. <laughs> yeah? yeah? 18 hours. I love you. 19 hours. I love you too. 20 hours. 21 hours. 22 hours. 23 hours. 24 hours. 25 hours. 26 hours. 27 hours. Man, this shit is broken. Nothing's broken. America, man. It is broken. Love America. Hey, let me ask you something, white man. Yeah, yeah, ask me anything. Do you think I'm a bad motherfucker? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're, you're a bad motherfucker. <laughs> Do I make you nervous? Tell the truth. How are we going to fix this if you can't tell the truth? Just relax. What do you mean? Don't tell me to relax. Why should I relax? What's your problem? I'm not the problem. No, what is wrong with you? I man? told you. You just don't listen. What? It must be nice to be deaf and blind. And stupid. Look, man, I don't want any trouble, all right? Hey, man, I don't either. I love America. Yeah. America loves you, too. So he was all like, if you would just stop looking at that, me, like, that's offensive. OK. So, he was all like, if you would just step off. Uh, problematic? Okay, sorry, just don't go there. Don't go where? Wherever it is you're going to go. How do you know where it is that I'm going to go to? I don't. But I know it's going to end in a trigger warning, so don't. It's inappropriate. It really happened. Well, lots of things really happened. We don't have to talk about them. Because when you talk about them, I have to deal with them. I'm not supposed to deal with anything. <laughs> you can have whatever statistic you want, and that's fine. But I deserve a warning. Okay, I deserve to be comfortable. He lived on my street. 
went to school with my brother. And once again, I'm offended. And they still put him in jail for 24 hours without a lawyer. And they accused him of some shit that he didn't commit and made him sit complicit within it. Now, I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. I'm sorry if you're lucky enough not to be thinking about it every time you walk down the street. And I'm sorry if it offends you. It offends me too, but if I don't keep talking about it, it's just gonna keep happening again and again and again. His name was Ryan. I am so, so sorry. I get it now. I totally, totally get it. I know what it's like. I had a dog named Ryan. <laughs> Now that is some offensive, problematic, trigger warning type shit. <laughs> this way since birth. What a coincidence. So have I. <laughs> you know, being white in here ain't the same as being white out there. Um, I'm not sure that I understand. <laughs> it means that in here, you're the minority. Look, I know that we're unnumbered in here. Okay? I know that we're unnumbered, but does that mean that you and I are going to have a problem? <laughs> no. It means we are going to learn to coexist. How are we going to do that? Sink and toilet stays clean after you use it. Sink and toilet stays clean after I use it. 
You keep your side of the room clean, I keep my side of the room clean, you dig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can dig it. Yeah. <laughs> Mutual respect, right? That's it. It's as simple as that. saving up to get one of those for my wife. Um, this is brand new. Mm -hmm. Do you have a receipt? A receipt? A receipt. Apple's an environmentally friendly company. They don't get receipts anymore, silly. Oh, no? No, no, they email them. <laughs> I have to go. Uh, well, you be careful out there, ma'am. Very dangerous. Oh, you dropped something? You dropped something. Okay.
Life or death. So you do. You do what you're trained to do. Ordered to do. Took an oath to do. Hey! You try it sometime. You think it's so fucking easy. You wanna play games, boy? I could arrest you right now. Where's your ID? I gave it to you. Shut your goddamn mouth! Now I can kill you! Hey man, I didn't do anything, I just, it was just a sign. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Turn around! What are you hiding, huh? Where's your ID? I'm trans! What? I'm trans, it's my own name. I'm gonna change it tomorrow. Driving around the city for 20 minutes <laughs> every night. <laughs> I know. We'll lock your door. Why? Uh, that man. What man? There, on the corner. Just lock your door. Okay. Now, why exactly did I just do that? Well, for safety. Growing up, my dad always had us lock the door if we ever saw a stranger in the city. Stranger or black stranger? It's not like that, okay? It's what we did. It's what you still do. Christine, come on, you're 34. It's not like that. It's just a habit. It's part of the world I was raised in. And what about Charlie? Is this really the world we want for him? Well, it's not what I meant. What I mean, let's just drive. Who 
Mom. Hey, the people on TV. Mom, you're looking outside. What movie is it? Mom, it's not a movie. You're looking outside. That's a movie. I don't like it. Mom, you, you want me to do your hair before Sonia get here? You know you like to have your hair done before you see anyone. Who is Sonia? Sonia's your caregiver, Mom. She comes every day at 8.30. I don't want to watch that movie anymore. Mom. You going out there? I have to go to work, Mom. Sonia will be here at 8.30. I don't like that you have to go on TV. Every day at 8.30. Lying dead in the street. 
That's what I thought. Voices can heal, baby. Just trying to do my job. And your job is to make money off us. Make money and leave. I get paid to do my job, and my job is to tell the story. And by doing what? Huh? <coughs> Trying to stick a microphone in that poor woman's face while she's grieving? Well, that is the story. No! It's not! That is her private business! That's her grief, man! Look, do you want to tell the story? Tell the story about police harassment and how we get stopped driving. Tell the story about how we got no jobs and these suck-ass developers come in and bust up our neighborhoods. Better yet, tell the story about how our kids go to shitty schools and our churches keep burning. That is the story! And they dragged him from the house? Yes. And they broke his wrist too. What? They broke his wrist as they were dragging him. Then they hung him. Whose wrist were cut? That was my father with the cut wrist. The stress of looking at this tree every day. My grandfather had the bruised wrist for falling from a branch. The broken wrist was my great-grandfather. He was dragged from the house and hung from this tree. They said he stole a jar of molasses. So you see, you can't tear it down. I'd rather you kill me. Why would you want to keep this tree standing then? Because we need to be reminded that their momentary whim can be the disease backbone of our legacy. And that needs to be locked into our DNA. A molecular reminder of what we're dealing with. You understand, boy? Do you? Huh? So they dragged him from the house. <clears throat> the Atlantic slave trade brought millions of workers from Africa to the southern U.S. for an agricultural plantation. They weren't workers, they were slaves. Technically, they worked, so they were workers. No, workers get to choose their jobs. Workers get to leave whenever they want to. Slaves are kidnapped, sold at auction, hey! raped, branded, whipped, starved, and worked to death. Hey, who is telling the story? Good question. I am an American. It's 2016, in New York. Two degrees, a job, a taxpayer with a dog, and I'm scared all the time in America. Hands up, now! I don't know how to fight. Where are you headed this late? Home, sir. Don't you raise your voice at me. I'm a slave, it's 1830. On a plantation, I work in the fields. I'm someone's property. And scared all the time in America. On the ground. Now, boy. I don't know how to fight. And where you headed this late? Home, sir. Don't you raise your voice at me. I don't I want to fight. I, I want to be free. When we 
first moved here, David was eight years old. The first thing I did before I unpacked a single box was take him down to the police department. I wanted them to know his name, what he looked like, that he lived here and that he belonged. You never told me that. Every single day I told him, if you see the police, don't run. Be quiet. Keep humble. Come home to me. Alive. Of course. We all worry about our children. But your son will never be a hashtag. I'm sorry that I can't bring him back. I'm sorry that my son is alive and that he got away. I wouldn't wish this on you or anyone. But it's just not fair. And, and what is worse is before I can even bury my child, somewhere in this country, another mother is going to lose her son. It has to stop. I know. left in the circle. He was my baby. He was my baby. He was my baby. And big and three years old. Too big to be three. He looked about four or five. And getting into everything and walking up to everybody. But he was mine. He was mine. And I taught him big words. Big words like justice. Like freedom. Like revolution. Big words that carried my baby into manhood. Until, Until they, they took him from me, took my son from me, and left him lying there. Don't remain out of my reach, but not Don't. out of my sight, not out of my remembering. And we Credit. spoke 
Big words. Don't tell me. Big words like justice. Michael. Like justice. Like justice. Like justice. Like justice, like justice now. now! Or else. Hey, where'd you get that? What? That. Light. Hey, it's always been on. It's bothersome. Turn it off. I can't. I don't know how. My dad said it's okay to keep it on. Cause ain't nothing I can do about it. Everybody be wanting me to turn it off, but I don't mind if it bothers folks, cause maybe they don't have what I have, and, and that's okay too. The law was just passed. Hmm. You know we both got a perfect score. <laughs> ha! Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, 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 you can't do that. You are the wrong color. What? It says right here, fountain is for reds only. You're still playing that stupid game. It's not a game. Everybody in the school has to do it. Mr. Mann made everybody agree on all the rules. That man made me late for class because he made me go down a staircase that was marked for reds only. All us greens have one less bathroom to use than y'all do, and we have to take the second lunch period because all your greedy red mofos eat all desserts. It's just an experiment. Mr. Man thought it would be a good idea to recreate a time when things were really different for perspective. Different? Different. They shot that boy in the street like a dog. I'm angry too. Don't forget, I knew so him. So what? I knew him too. Yeah, but to me, he was like Ben. He was a part of all of us. I need this. I need this game because real life is going to make me explode. I don't want to destroy stuff like the rest of them. Let's go. Where? the green water fountain. I, I need a drink. Yeah? 
Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yo, can we can we please go to the party after this? Dude, Jessica James is gonna be there. Jessica James doesn't like you, bro. What are these things called again? Street angels. Look, look, I dig the cause and shit, dude. I, I, I think it's cool, but like, Jessica James. Like, if I go to prom with her, I don't even need to go to college anymore. <laughs> You're not going to prom with Jessica James, bro. Why not? Because I'm going to prom with Jessica James. All right, I'm finished. Get up. It's midnight. Happy 2090, bro. Do you think the world's a better place now? It is, but we still make them remember. Look, I, I heard that they put teddy bears on the road after they killed them. It was dark, man. The street was dark. He, he was, was coming, coming towards me in the dark. And, and I, I saw him reach into his holster, his fucking bag, and, and I shouted, Stop! Stop! Motherfucker, what are you doing? What the hell? And, and then I saw. I, I saw. The gun. The fucking beer. But, but it was too goddamn, goddamn late. I weigh. I didn't have a weapon. 
I make a wide-shaped incision from both shoulders all the way down to the pubic bone. Archaeology. I've always been interested in excavating things. And now... I remove the front of the rib cage so I can examine your chest and neck organs. My body is the only evidence I have left. You have to say... Say something. Remove. Wait. You're determined to a monster. Examine trachea, thyroid, They're going to rip me apart. Esophagus, heart, People are going thoracic, to be famous. Aorta, abdominal organs, People are, are going to be rich off of this. The brain incision is made in the back People of the skull. People are to retire off of this. My house is and your car is off of this body. The underlying skull. I could have been your daughter. I could have been your daughter. Stop it. Every day on this table, I know. consistent service on continents all over the globe. We help take down the guilty and protect the innocent. But as of today, we can no longer take part. You see, we have grown too intimate with these young men and women. We have outrun them far too much, became far too acquainted with their backs. We have outnumbered them, sometimes as many as 41 to 1. We were made to ensure safety, but we are ending up too often in the wrong hands. Even in the hands of those who were supposedly trained in how to use us properly. We were made to take down the guilty, but are ending up too often inside innocent skin. So, until this is sorted, we are hereby on a definite strike. Try talking it out for a while instead. Sign, the, the bullets! The bullets! The bullets! The bullets! Say something. Say something.
black people murdered by law enforcement. 1700s. Unknown! Unknown! Unknown hundreds! Unknown thousands! Unknown thousands! Unknown tens of thousands! Unknown tens of thousands! Unknown hundreds of thousands! Unknown hundreds of thousands! Unknown millions! 1800s! Unknown! Unknown! Unknown hundreds! Unknown thousands! Stop. Will we stop it? Will, Will this, this ever, ever stop? stop? 